Today we're taking a short drive over to a friend's place on Tesla 12.3.6. I think this is a good opportunity to test some neighborhood driving, also a quick entry exit on the highway, and we'll see how it goes. You can see that we're at 17 miles an hour and we're actually at a 20 mile per hour speed limit. This is a typical thing I'm still seeing not fixed in the latest update where we're just kind of going a little bit too slow for most circumstances. And also stop sign, we need to creep up quite a bit to see through this intersection. It, should go, it goes a little bit slowly, but eventually we will make it. Plenty of room. And notice we're at 35 mile an hour speed limit, ramping up to, there we go, 42, 20% 20 over. That's where we want to be. Note that full self-driving is going to be on throughout this entire video, unless it's made very clear that it's not. So again, FSD is doing a good job keeping above the speed limit here. Uh, I usually do rest my foot on the accelerator just in case it slows down too much, but right now no need to press it. Great, no slow down on that one. Quickly getting over to the left lane so we can get up to the left of this light right here. Now we're going a bit too slow, I think, approaching this green light. If it were me, I'd be trying to get through this more quickly. But no major complaints as we go through smoothly. Now let's see if we get back up over the speed limit here. See, it was... <laughs> It was going to stop at the yellow, but I'm going to push through that. That was a little bit too conservative for me. And now with that little jolt from the accelerator, we're pushed to, to six over the 35 speed limit, which is great. Got the green light here. Should be nice and clear with no stopping. And here we can see we're slowing down a little bit, even at the 35 mile an hour speed limit, going a couple under. I would be pushing a little more here, and any time I want, I can press on the accelerator a little bit and kind of confirm that yes, you can go over, and now it's holding, even up to 10 over, 11 over the speed limit, which is very human-like. Again, slowing a bit too much for that turn. Oof, kind of close to that curb too. I don't really like that move. All right, we got a flashing yellow for this left turn. Let's see how well it takes. So we got nobody ahead of us. Again, quite human-like, happy with that move. And yeah, pretty happy with the speed again. 20% offset, seven over 35, which is perfect. Uh, old FSD, when you could set that offset, it did a great job of keeping at that 20% no matter what. In this case, I've seen it, as I've said, be a little bit slow sometimes, but so far pretty good. That's kind of a strange slowdown right here. I mean, we have plenty of room to slow, but we're hitting a red light anyways, not in a rush, just kind of strange behavior there. Now that we're sitting at this red light, I think it's a great time to take a short break for our sponsor, which gave me these floor mats right here. Tessery sent me these new all-weather floor mats made custom for the Model 3. Each mat has raised sidewalls to provide seamless protection and is made of scratch-resistant, wear-resistant, and waterproof material. Make sure to get 10% off using the link in the description. Now back to the video. All right, we're back at it. You know, I actually really do like these floor mats. I wasn't expecting much, but uh, they're pretty good. Here, I see a couple cars behind me. We're only going three over, getting past a little bit on the right. I'm not gonna push the accelerator here, but this is another kind of thing about what I'm talking about. Another example of what I'm talking about where it just goes a little too slow, in my opinion, on some of these roads.
love these turn these uh, lane changes. These have been really smooth ever since full self driving 12. Uh, lane changes are almost always feeling very human like, quick, authoritative. I like it. Okay, approaching a more complicated intersection here where we got to take this ramp on to the right lane. see a lot of traffic here this car's just going for it like an entry and great pushing through this is an easy one though not much traffic no problem and again here it's slowly slowly ramping up but I would prefer to be accelerating a little bit more we're only a 10% offset I like to be closer to 20 so 48 miles an hour let's give it a little bit of juice and there we go it'll go up even you know 10 12 over when i give it that accelerator and generally very slowly kind of come back down so i went the wrong way we're going to come right back out on this street right here this is actually good for a more complicated many lane intersection here. I got to make an aggressive left turn. We got two lanes both ways. Autopilot so far doing a good job creeping. We got entry here, but not on this side. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know what? I'm pushing through it. So there, I just pushed the accelerator. I knew we could do it. Autopilot wasn't as confident. I didn't want to wait another two minutes for that uh, opportunity. It's telling us to slow down. It looks, I don't know if the car actually read that, I doubt it, but either way we did slow down a little bit. Now on these quiet stop signs, full self-driving still has to legally make that full stop. It goes a bit slow. But again, if you were unable to drive or just really didn't want to deal with it, it does a good job of legally handling these four-way intersections now. As we approach this stop, we do not have traffic stopping going this way. It's... Oh, no, never mind, they have stop signs. So here we're kind of stopping twice, even though it's a four or three way stop, we don't really need to stop twice like that. But we do make it, as always. We're going 20 and a 25, super slow. There's a quiet neighborhood here, so I'm not gonna push it. All right, another four-way stop. I feel like it usually stops a little bit short here, always right in front of that line. I think it was so, so slow. I mean, a human driver would actually be stopping right here for the first time, but that's two full stops as we sit here and then go ahead. So I'm not sure why that behavior, I think that needs to be fixed. All right, making that stop. All right, that time just one stop. That's, that's a much better move. This is another type of driving that's gotten a lot better with full self-driving 12 even with no lane markings it's very human-like in picking its lane on this road giving space to the parked cars even though you have this weird kind of off color thing just kind of driving right over that middle area which i think is totally fine this guy's going straight good move again
Now here I want to try to make that green. We're going a little slow. Again, just giving a little juice on the accelerator. We were at 28 miles an hour. Ah, turned yellow. But notice it will hold a little bit that higher speed when I do push on the accelerator. Now notice this Tesla is giving room for anybody trying to make a right. Behind me, I see somebody also trying to give room for this lane, so I'm actually going to disengage in case anybody else behind me wants to make that right turn. Full self-driving is not doing a good job yielding in those types of situations. And then we can turn it right back on. Now we got a dip in the road here. I'm curious to see if we slow down for it. And yes, that's perfect. We definitely don't want to go too fast over those. I don't think a full self-driving 11 would, be, would have been able to handle that. Here's an example of just a two-way stop. So let's see if it takes its time. We're very clear both ways. It stops short, seems to creep and kind of stop again. I wish again it would just do that one stop. Of course we do make it through though. And as we get to our final destination, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see any type of behavior or driving for full self-driving testing. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.